Hey guys and girls, welcome back and today I'm going to be talking about why you should be training at 1pm, uh, 12pm or 1pm at lunchtime. Basically, um, if you're working in the office the whole day and you've been sitting down, you've been seated, your, your butt and your hamstrings, your lower back, they're all going to be caved in and hunched looking at the desk. Um, so you're going to have a real tight chest a very weak lower back, over tight uh, glutes, and over tight hamstrings. Now, if I went through those body parts and what they do to you, if your chest and your glutes are tight, what's gonna happen is you're gonna feel quite stressed out um, because they are stress zones, physiologically speaking, in the body. So not only will your posture be uh, crunched up and not feeling long, tall, energetic, inspired, but they're going to be more uh, tight, crunched up. You're going to want to release them. So going out for a workout one o'clock will A, get you off your chair, get your butt literally off your chair. Um, you'll do strength movements or cardiovascular movements, which are going to stretch out and strengthen your legs. So really, to me, uh, any exercise is better than no exercise. So if you have an exercise and you've been sitting down all day in the office, well, get out because you're going to feel a lot better. And it can be indoor, it could be outdoor, it could be strength, it could be cardio. That's up to you. Um, obviously, I could create an actual specific program where you're focused and targeted on what you're going to do. The thing is, my real point here is like just do something, get out. That, that's the first step because sitting down for hours, dealing with mental tasks all day where you're just talking about stuff and being stuck in your brain, well, actually, we've got a body, we've got a heart, we've got breathing patterns, we've got emotions, we've got uh, the body, it's physical sensations too a grip, to run, to move. We've got the spine that wants to be long. There's so much more to our body and us as a whole being that you don't just want to be stuck in an office. You want to feel yourself and feel good. So train at 1 p.m. So I hope this helps. It's a brief one. But uh, yeah, it's just a, a thing, a, a post to, if any of you are frustrated and not active and not feeling good about your bodies or your life um, and you're not already training, then I think it's opposed to you guys and girls who want to do something about the way you feel, but you just haven't got that commitment. So, and for those that you, of you that are active and you do like training uh, and you already train, maybe try training at lunchtime, a different workout to your usual routine to just give you something that makes you feel good, you know, or to get you out of your lunch hour. And yeah, be strong about it because I feel like I've noticed a lot of people that are clients, um, they feel like they're dominated by time and there's this like time thing and this thing where, oh, they can't get out and they can't go for a break. And yeah, I've seen these same clients actually get ill from just overworking and then eventually they had to go for walks in the park or for a run or to the gym or for a workout. So yeah, I hope this helps and get out, get out at 12 or 1 p.m., do a workout and feel good because a person who feels good and strong is going to be more productive and better at their career than a person that doesn't feel good, feels awkward and weak. So strong over weak. Anyway, hope you enjoy the post and see you soon.